Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you know me, hi, my name is Chelsea. I collect cute things, I make cute things, I sell cute things. I just really like cute things. I do wanna say, first of all, thank you so much to everyone over on my TikTok and Instagram who have already seen this DIY come together. I've been sharing a lot over there. If you're not following me on those platforms already, I will leave the link down below to both of those and just Chelsea DIY on Instagram and DIY Chelsea on TikTok, but those links will be down below for you to check out. For this DIY today, I actually made this little mini gumball machine. I'm so, so happy with it. The reason that I made this is just to display some of my little figurines. If you are an adult toy collector like I am, you like to display your items in the cutest way possible, you will know that you pretty much have to DIY most of your cute display items or else you're not gonna get things quite as you want them because for some reason, they still don't have so many cute options. Like there's lots more cuter options nowadays than to when I first started collecting um but still DIYing it is probably the best way of forward so for this DIY I did make the little mini gumball machine like I said it's like constructed a little bit differently than what I would do say if I was just going to make it for putting charms in and everything because I wanted bigger figurines in it I didn't quite seal it up and everything but I'll give you a full run through at the end of kind of like DIY tutorial kind of meat making it part so I'll leave you with some music some like you know text bits and everything like that on the screen for now and I'll come back at the end with a full overview showing you up nice and close how it works all the things that I used to make it everything like that hello everybody or welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Chelsea I love to make cute things I like to collect cute things I like to sell cute things and everything like that if you are like me you are a bit of an adult toy collector you just love cute things in general then you probably love displaying things in the cutest way possible as well but let me tell you something when it comes to displaying things as you might already know um it's sometimes it's impossible to find the things that you actually want so you have to make it yourself so this is one of those situations where over the past couple of weeks i've been making a little mini gumball machine in order to display one of my small boys at a time i've also made it so that i could put like charms and stuff in it as well as the bigger pieces um I'll get into that later I'll show you a full kind of view and stuff of it I filmed the whole process of me making it I've been sharing it to TikTok and Instagram but if you don't follow me over on there um like either of those platforms then this video here is for you I mean if you don't follow me on TikTok or Instagram then I will leave those links down for you you know down in the description you to check out if you want to but until then I'm just going to share how I made it and I'll give you a full run through a full kind of overview of the mini gumball machine at the end <laughs> Of the video here I am I'm going to show you how this all works so I haven't 
um, sealed the ball shut. I haven't done this on purpose just so that I could fit bigger figurines like this little corn boy in there right now. So this bottom part and this top ball part aren't attached. If I was to make this just for charms or smaller pieces, I would attach it to this, like hot glue it, E6000 it or something. And I would cut a hole in the top so that this part can just cover that so that this bit here would be the only loose part. It would make a lot of sense doing it that way. But like I said, I want to be able to put bigger figurines in this for my own display shelf. So I've left the ball wall part like still be able to be open in two parts just unsealed so that i can then just put that on top and you know it still looks like a fully kind of connected gumball machine but it isn't just glued together <laughs> if that makes sense um the reason i've done that is obviously so i don't have to cut a massive hole on the top i have a massive bit on the top i didn't want that so this just works out fine like i said all these bits are just like able to be disconnected so the ball ball itself comes apart just like so just like in two pieces and then i can put whatever size figurine and everything like that in there i can put loads of little things in there if i want to like i would probably put on sorry little dude uh, put it on its side fill it up with charms put that on tip it round you could fill in both sides and then just put that on top for like the decoration purposes um but yeah i think that works out pretty well this is the top of it this is what it looks like nice and up close i've painted it in the exact same colors as the base so that it's all nice and matching i've done the sparkles on that the same and i really really like this we'll just show you the little corn boy here as well by the way please ignore my nails they are quite chipped he's basically just based on a little corn on the cob with him kind of coming out of it his little butter melted on his head i absolutely love him it took me forever to sculpt that because each of these individual pieces i rolled out and yeah it took me so long but that's the little guy i did have in there the base of this just looks like so around the sides i haven't sealed this in this is just like glossy acrylic paint and it's worked out so nicely i don't think i need to seal it so with this little bit obviously i just pop that on top but having it for 360 here we've got this little dude over here i love him so much the little cloud the stars i've actually done in a golden acrylic so they are metallic i have the little kind of sparkles which are like hand painted on there and then the rainbows are inspired by the lucky charm marshmallow rainbows i've got this lighter skinned little dude here with kind of brown hair another gold star another rainbow more sparkles another star and i have this little light skin ginger boy he was going to be a lot more brighter orange head but um this is the way it came out and i actually really like it the trim is nice bright blue i've got the green a bit there and i've painted that all green on the inside because you can still see that through so that works out nicely and then this little faux shoot bit it literally is just like a bit of clay molded to that shape and then the little faux kind of twisty tiny knob part the bottom i've left it i could add a little bit of cardboard to seal it off um, but to be honest it's not really necessary it's just going to be on top of a shelf for me so pretty unnecessary for me to do but if you were to diy this i'd probably recommend it because you know why not but i suppose i could use it for secret storage or something i don't know but there's a full view of that obviously the top bit goes on top and makes it look like a full kind of completed all-in-one gumball machine look how cute it is i love it um so yeah i just want to say a huge thank you for watching this video today for being here with me being on my tiktok if you're over on there being on my instagram if you're over on there having a ball at the moment just making creating whatever i kind of want i am in the middle of filming a studio vlog lots of things are going wrong in you know just doing shop stuff and prepping and everything and um yeah i'm keeping the shop update <laughs> up to date with all of that so that'll be coming out probably in the like the next week or so if you want to stay tuned for that i do have a little drop coming very soon it's going to be valentine's day themed maybe this weekend if we're lucky but definitely stay tuned on tiktok and instagram for information on that probably won't come back to youtube before the next video maybe next week so yeah hopefully you enjoy it thank you so so much for sticking around and i will see you again very soon for another video bye